case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. A spokesperson for Social Security wrongfully conveyed to the woman that she was ineligible for mother's insurance benefits. With this misinformation, she chose not to file an application, despite a written appeal being essential under Social Security law. This disagreement sparked the central question of the case. Could the misinformed woman receive backdated benefits because of the erroneous advice given by the agency's representative? Initially, the District Court for the District of Vermont sided with the Social Security representative, ruling that the woman's benefits could only apply from the date of her written application. The Court of Appeals for the Second Circuit affirmed this decision. The woman's case managed to gather traction, bringing her case before the Supreme Court through successful appeals. The court's majority, controversially, ruled in favor of the woman, believing the government agency's misinformation and misconduct should act as estoppel, barring the enforcement of the application requirement. However, not all judges agreed with this direction. Judge Friendly argued that the majority's conclusion contradicted earlier decisions. The court, he claimed, hadn't agreed yet on what misconduct by a governmental representative would be significant enough to overrule a strict benefits regulation. Ultimately, the Supreme Court ruled in favor of the Secretary of Health and Human Services, echoing Judge Friendly's dissenting opinion. The court believed that although the representative failed to provide accurate information, his error didn't cause irreversible harm to warrant waiving the woman's responsibility to the filing requirement, nor did it warrant charging the public treasury retrospectively. The Supreme Court discerned that the minor instance of misinformation was inadequate to subsidize the implementation of estoppel. It further clarified that the woman's case did not justify overriding existing valid benefit requirements. Nonetheless, the Supreme Court commended the woman's drive for justice, granting her motion for leave to proceed in forma pauperis, while simultaneously reversing the judgment of the Court of Appeals. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law, elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class. 